Hello, it's the 2nd of September, so that's two months I've been on testosterone. Uh, as you can hear, my voice is continuing to deepen and I absolutely love it. It means that now I am passing probably 90% of the time um, and it's awesome. Today, for instance, I had somebody on the phone was talking to me, um, didn't know my name, but was talking to me. Um, his wife in, in, um, interrupted him and he called her, I'm just talking to this guy. You know, and that's the sort of thing where people haven't even thought about it. They just launch into, you know, their instinct, their natural instinct. And, and people's natural instinct now is that I'm a guy. And that's awesome. Um, it's Singing is still a bit weird. Um, I haven't really... I can do a deep D-flat now. Um, but sometimes that's not quite enough to go totally in the bottom octave but you know it's getting there and it's not it's still a bit husky it's not clear yet but uh, you know I'm waiting for it to be nice and creamy um, but uh, yeah no I am so so thrilled with my voice it's just awesome absolutely awesome um, as you know that was the thing that bugged me more out of my body than anything else and that's the thing that I think that that prevented me from passing as male all the time um, and now I, I just get read as male all the time it's wonderful and on the phone it also means now that instead of introducing myself as Will on the phone quite often now I'm using my full name William um, and because I know that I'm not going to get second guessed and people are not going to go, what, William? That's an unusual name for a girl. Um, now they just go, oh yeah, William. And I like the name William. <laughs> I like the name Will. But William's good as well. Okay, what else is there? Well, hair. Um, I'm growing hair on my thighs. I'm not really growing hair anywhere on my face yet, but you know, it's only two months. Uh, and the rest of my body was pretty hairy anyway, so I, I haven't really noticed much difference. Fortunately, I haven't lost any more hair um, on the corners. It sort of fell out a lot when I first went on testosterone. It seems to have balanced out. I'm sure it'll go in, in due time, but at the moment it's not too bad. Body shape change. Uh, right, well... I am definitely seeing fat redistribution. Um, now I'm not I'm not that big, so um, I was lucky. I didn't have big hips. Um, my body did sort of do the the, the male rectangle, um, but I'm definitely noticing that uh, my waist is thickening. Um, and my muscles, I mean, I'm, I'm, they're not great and brilliant and everything, but they're definitely getting, they're getting bigger, um, easier, uh, which, is, which is brilliant. Um, I do do push-ups. I want my top to be as good-looking as possible, and I also want it to, to be in the best um, state for the best possible results for top step surgery, which I'm hoping to have next year. So, um, yeah, it's my top is is getting quite good, I think, um, and I'm uh, my waist. I'm having to loosen a notch on my belt. Um, so obviously something's happening. Oh, and also my neck. Um, I got a few um, shirts that were a tad well that were tight, and now they're very tight. Um, my neck is definitely getting bigger. I'm growing a, a collar size, so I'm going to have to buy some new shirts. Um, my sex drive has gone down, fortunately. I, it, it didn't sit comfortably. I mean, I, I, I was getting distracted at work, and it's, it's manageable now. It, it really is. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm still watching and enjoying um, sex 
obviously not with a partner but hey one day um, but it's it's just a normal manageable part of my of my um, life now and not an excessive overthought or thoughts that all I could think of before um, it, it's much better now uh, since my well, my last shop my third shot was last week and since my second shot menzies hasn't come back um which is awesome absolutely awesome um it's now what about six weeks overdue so i think it's probably not going to be happening <laughs> thank god um oh it, it was just the bane of my life not only was it unmanageable it was also unmanageable because it just was wrong in a male body you know um and so the last thing really i'm going to talk about is my emotions I've, i'll keep looking down because i've got it all written down here my emotions have really been up and down um i know i'm early on testosterone and it takes a while to balance out but i've really felt you know in the first two weeks it's been absolutely brilliant and and you know i'm, I'm a week in um from a shot now and i just feel feel awesome <laughs> um confident um strong it's emotionally strong um just just wonderful peaceful very peaceful and content um towards the end of the four week cycle i definitely feel a bit more jittery um yeah and a lot less peaceful uh, I'm hoping that will soon calm down. I've got my levels test next month, so I'm assuming that um, if it's not right, they'll they'll put me a week earlier, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's what's happening. Uh, and what I've really noticed more than anything is the way that people are reacting to me now. Um, I work in a cemetery, and so I often see distraught grief ridden people obviously and I've noticed how women are a lot more likely to burst into tears in my presence now um, than they were when I was female um, or when they weren't quite sure of what I was I think it's now uh, now they they well I hope that they perceive me as being somebody that's can be trusted with their emotions um, and that can look after them and protect them and and that's why I, I, I really love that you know I, I just that is my character to be that protective person doesn't really get involved but you know he's just a, a comfort and I, I like that I, I want to be that sort of sort of man I know not everyone's going to think that's a great thing to be, but I'm. I want to be able to, and I, I'm feeling like I, I can show my more feminine side more and more now. Now I'm definitely perceived as male. I can show my feminine side without being feminine, um, and I know that women like that, and and that's why people can be vulnerable in front of me. Um, however, the one thing I wasn't you know warned about I guess was that I would lose my ability to multitask now I when I had young children I had three young children I was a single parent I held down a full-time job and I did a university degree part-time and okay it was tough but you know I managed it and now I, I've got hardly anything going on in my life and I, if something else comes on, I feel myself starting to get overwhelmed because I have maybe two things to do, which is absolutely ridiculous. I have been really good at multitasking and now I get overwhelmed by more than one thing to do. <laughs> and, you know, when I answer people, I can't drive and talk, if it, you know, at the same time. <laughs> it's just, it's really annoying because actually I 
I do need to multitask at work. I do need to do more than one thing. And it's it's not going well at the moment. I hope I will get that back. Um, but it just my brain just goes scrambled and unable to to organise myself. Um, and that so it it's nothing to do with what sort of character you are how your upbringing is it's nothing to do with that i used to be able to do it it is purely to do with hormones and you know i have a lot more respect now for guys not being able to be very good um house parents and i'm, I'm you know lots of guys are good house parents but most guys just can't think of when the baby next needs feeding and does it need changing now and does the cat need feeding and do I have to go to this to buy shop uh, shopping and I've got to do the vacuuming and all of that stuff that goes on when you've got lots of children to to run around after um you know I can't understand now why they're not very good at it <laughs> and because I'm not very good at it at the moment I just can't do it and as I say I hope it will get better because it's going to be blooming annoying if I can't ever keep more than one thing in my head for the rest of my life. But hey, not as in, not as annoying as uh, being read as a woman for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, definitely towards the end of the four-week cycle, I have become less happy-go-lucky, lovely, comforting Will and become grumpy, irritable, um can't really be bothered to answer people will who I actually don't like um, and despite the fact that I don't like him and I can sort of see myself doing all these things and sort of snapping at people and going I'm sorry I, I didn't mean that it was just the way it came out of my mouth it just didn't sound right um, and I'm finding that I'm having to apologize quite a lot you know uh, I say something and you sort of read their response and then I have to say you know did that come out the way I wanted it to um, and hopefully that will be another thing managing oh it's also a case of managing my voice because I say things um, louder than I need to say them because I can't quite manage the volume of my voice yet and that sounds weird but I either sort of mumble really quietly and nobody can hear me or I shout at somebody, you know, hey, and I don't mean to, to snap. It just comes out with that sort of deep, gruff, um, and that's really not what I mean. But I think it's just a, a case of managing my voice. Right. Well, I've talked quite a long time. Um, thank you for continuing to watch. <laughs> if you haven't, then fine. I don't care. Uh, I will see you next month when um, maybe I will have a bit more facial hair, but who knows. My voice will be gorgeous. My voice is gorgeous. I'm so thankful for it. I'm so thankful for hormones and for the place where I am in my life. Right, I really am going to stop rambling on now and see you next month. Bye.